It looks like pre-painted is back on the menu. <laughs> Hey, regular viewers might be wondering why I haven't been doing unboxings of D&D miniatures lately. Well, it just comes down to time. I used to be able to hustle and get the miniatures uh, like right on release date. Uh, unfortunately, due to circumstances, I can't do that anymore. So, uh, not that many people are interested in a review of a set of miniatures that comes out weeks and weeks after the release date. But today I am going to take a look at some of the new D&D miniatures and it's all thanks to an online store named Augie's. Yes, Augie's Games is a physical store located in good old Stone Mountain, Georgia, but they also do brisk business online selling individual miniatures including the official D&D and Pathfinder lines. What sets their online store apart from others is their independent pricing structure, and they have a flat rate shipping for most miniatures except the really big ones, and that flat rate to most of the United States is $3, which is an incredibly good deal. As far as I know, this is the cheapest flat rate for any online store, excepting those that offer free shipping, but you usually have to spend over a hundred dollars to get that free shipping at those other stores. What this means is that Augie's has very competitive prices for common D&D miniatures, which is great for someone like me who doesn't necessarily want to buy a full booster brick or multiple packs for a set. Uh, for example, for this latest one, all I really wanted was the uh, Snowy Owlbear and a couple other of the miniatures from the newest set. When I did make my order though, I did include some of the Dungeon Crawler miniatures. Now these are independent pre-painted D&D miniatures, sort of in the same style as the old Hasbro miniatures. Very cool stuff. Now this is, I paid a little bit extra for these because this is kind of like a collection thing. And, uh, but these prices are pretty good. You got this lovely Furbolg skeleton, back when Furbolgs were proper giant kin. And the amazing Dungeon Crawler Tentacle Set. Now, these are all sold separately and have independent prices, but uh, these are actually pretty good deals for these things. These are kind of like niche items, but I really like them. On to the official D&D stuff. Here we have a couple Rearing Nightmares at $2.24 each. A very good price point for some unique equine minis. And here we have a classic Winter Wolf and Goat miniature from the Frost Maiden set. And of course, the whole reason why this video happened, the Snowy Owlbear, an absolutely adorable miniature which frankly looks really good in person. And here we have a Cobalt Mountaineer, as well as the famous Knucklehead Trout, the same Knucklehead Trout who was made famous in the R.A. Salvador books as well as the Icewind Dale video games. And we have a colorful, ooh, uh, help me out Mercer, what is this? Catobleepus. Of course, the Catobleepus, the cursed bullvine thing, which is kind of a cool, weird uh, monster to include in almost any game of D&D. So there you have it, folks. For $40.80, I got a whole mess of collectible miniatures, as well as some of the common miniatures from the latest WizKids set. Fast shipping, carefully packed, and of course, you just cannot beat that $3 flat rate. I really do miss doing reviews of recently released miniatures, and I really miss uh, doing reviews of thrift store stuff. But unfortunately, you know, circumstances are what they are. And luckily we have our local flagship game stores to help out in this situation. And we have independent local stores like Augie's that have an online presence and we should really show those places some love. Luckily with stores like Augie's, I can still enjoy some amazing and expensive miniatures. Please let me know in the comments below if you are supporting your local flagship game store and uh, what you found uh, recently for miniature finds. That's my dad!